Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today we're going to do a quick review of the Full Power Brawly. I know if you guys have already seen this guys at SH Figure Yards, um, but I thought I was just going to open it, but I thought why not do a, re a quick review of it before I open it. Worth it! <laughs> Alright guys, so you guys can see the box is humongous. It is a big, big character. Um, really, really cool. Uh, this is probably my third purchase of an SH figure art. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Love the painting and all that stuff. So let's get it unboxed and I'll show you guys all this, all the good detail in it. Alright, so this is the outer box is already out. This is the inner box. Uh, you guys can see he's got a few hands here. He's got another few hands here. They're slightly different. I wish I would have had other arms than what these are because these are more of an open hand blast. And these are like kind of like a uh, kind of gripping type of deal. But I wish it would have been a whole different hand, which I think I know what I'm going to do with this hand. I'm going to modify it a little bit. You guys will see that on some other video. I'm going to show you how I did it and why I did it. But uh, other than that, um, let's get him completely open. All right, everybody. So here he is. My head to toe. Um, as you guys can see, he's pretty massive. Um, let me take these plastics off. That's what I like about SH Trigger is that they, they, they take care of their stuff. You know what I mean? They know that collectors buy this stuff, so uh, they take care of the stuff, make sure everything's packed nice and neat. But this guy is really, really freaking cool. If you guys want him to go bald, there you go, he's bald. <laughs> uh, let's put that back. Obviously, that's how he switches his, uh, his face. Um, I wish for this one they had a different hair color before he turns green like the black one with his hair stuff like that That would have been really cool But there is a new one coming out pretty soon in November I think it is either late October early November not 100% sure But I know that it's coming out. It's the one that he's just regular form brawly regular form uh, Which I will uh, get because I, I really like that one if you guys didn't see my last video I actually made Brawly before he turns into a, a super saiyan. So this is how far he stands. Oops, just knocked his head on. Why isn't his head clipped in there? There we go. So this is a brawly that I had made. I made a video out of that so you guys can see how I made it. Um, oh, did I put that video out yet? I don't think I put that video out yet. <laughs> but you guys can see uh, that I reviewed this guy and you guys can see. Um, all the parts and the peep the the actual figure that I used in order to make this guy but that, there you go there's your comparison so this is an actual brawly face by the way he just looks kind of funky for some reason but uh, that's an actual brawly face but anyways I really like the way this guy turned out um, but this is a super uh, full power brawly so um, there you go. As far as articulation, uh, one thing about SH figure is that their articulation is incredible. So far, I don't think you're ever going to do that, but if you wanted to, you could do that. Um, a swivel at the bicep, of course. Um, he does have butterfly shoulders, which look really, really cool. Um, and then he's got uh, a double joint for his... Uh, for his, I can't even think of the word, for his elbow, elbow joint. So he goes all the way up like that. That's just pretty, really cool. And then his arm goes a little bit higher. I wish the Thanos that I showed you guys, um, I don't know when I uploaded, but the Thanos figure that I had, that's what I was talking about. I wish they had that going on. And also, this dude. This is a Build-A-Figure, a, a uh, Build-A-Figure. It doesn't even fit on the camera, but here let me put them. Let me put these guys side to side so you guys can see side comparison. So 
So, yeah, there you go. This guy's still a lot bigger. This is a build a figure right here. Um, looks massive. This is a figure that I built, and then this is a SH figure art. Let's pull this guy out of the way for a second here because I want to keep reviewing uh, this dude. So, articulation, yeah. So now his foot goes all the way up, double joint and knee, so it goes all the way down. His foot, or his, his leg, I should say, go, goes that high up. I, I think I said foot for the leg, but uh, his leg goes that high up, his knees double joint it goes down like that. Uh, swivel at the at the foot and you could put the ankle down and then he has a little um he could do a little tippy toes if you guys want him to he does have big feet but there's a reason for that there he has big feet because uh he is pretty massive so uh, in order for him to stand he needs he needs the you know he needs a good base uh as far as it goes this way it goes all the way up and then back all the way back there and then his buddy boy, but the, he has a crack right there. Anyways, uh, <laughs> look at that. So his, his friend's uh, ear goes all the way up like this, or his skirt, or whatever you want to call it. And this is this is like a really, really soft plastic, almost a rubber based like that. Have you guys had a, um, what could I compare it to? Uh, it kind of feels like if you guys use glue, uh, the hot glue, it kind of, when the hot glue kind of dries up, that's kind of like the stickity that it has. So you could bend it pretty well, and it goes right back. It does have the ab crunch? It goes that much? It does have like, it does have uh, two splits here, so it could go a little bit further down, which is awesome. And that's it. Um, he comes with the other hands. The hands are pretty easy to come off. This is a blast hand. This is what I was saying that he just blast. Do you guys like the special effects? <laughs> and then he has this one which is like more of a like I'm gonna get you rah, rah, type of deal but <laughs> And then he does have two faces. It's got this one, a grinning one. There's the other two faces are different. This one's still like smiling. Okay, my camera does focus on it. So that one's kind of like smiling, grinning. Uh, let's check out the other two. This one is yelling. I'll put it down for a second. So this one's yelling, and the last one that he has, he's just got a smirk like a, like it stinks in here. Who who farted? Who farted? It stinks. Type of deal. So let's put that on him. Put the hair back. That's and there you go. He's got a new face new face new hands all right so that is it for now guys i hope you enjoyed this little video this guy is one of the best figures that i have um him and the evil what well, people are calling him evil boo i just call him manjin boo the skinny boo um because i do have the fat boo but i have the regular manjin boo him the manjin boo fat boo and this one are like some of my favorite characters uh as far as uh, the collectibles these guys are freaking amazing i love uh sh figure arts i wish i could afford more but right now i can't afford more but um they're worth every penny i think they're worth every single penny oh i do have a little scuffle a little paint off there but um really cool action figures they're super posable and um you can do a lot with them so anyways i hope you enjoyed this little uh review of this sh figure art probably uh, full power if you did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace